People who are so certain of the future, who know exactly where they're going, who have a very clear idea about where they're going to be in two or three years, I often say, how boring. One reader wants to know how you deal with uncertainty about the future, I guess, and about your life in general. These are kind of large questions, I'm afraid you, people are asking. There's two kinds of uncertainty. There's uncertainty about yourself and your future and where you're going in life. And there's uncertainty about the world, which is, believe me, a growing problem. The world doesn't look so good right now. And I can say that honestly, as someone who studies it quite in depth, it doesn't look like things are looking very up and very positive right now. On the grand existential level of the world problems, you can't think too deeply about that because you can't control a lot of those things. You want to think about things that you have some power over. You can control your own thoughts. You don't have to think about how we're heading to hell in a handbasket in 10 years, etc., etc. You don't have to, to fuss over it. You don't have to fixate on it. You don't have to obsess about it. Okay, so if you're worried about global warming, which is a real problem, we all should be worried about it, then channel that energy into doing something about it. Okay, don't be thinking about every day, oh, I've got to, you know, blah, 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 blah. Do something you can, contribute, join a cause, volunteer, etc., etc. When the Russian invasion of Ukraine occurred a couple of years ago now, wow, already two years, people, a couple of Ukrainians who were living in the United States wrote to me, saying, I have this terrible feeling, like I can't do anything, I feel so awful. I'm here in Florida, the sun is shining. What can I do to get rid of that feeling? And I said, well, do something active. Organize people here in the United States to help Ukraine. You know, volunteer, create an organization to enlighten Americans about what's going on. Do something so you just don't have this grand existential dread about what's going on and how you can't do anything. Take little actions, okay? And don't worry about the great macro actions that none of us have really control over. Do what you can in the immediate sense. Then about your own future, there's good uncertainty and there's bad uncertainty. People who are so certain of the future, who know exactly where they're going, who have a very clear idea about where they're going to be in two or three years, I often say, how boring, how uninteresting. Life with a bit of uncertainty is fun, is exciting, it's like a spice inside of it. It's a bit of mystery. I don't know where I'll be in a couple of years. I, Robert Greene, I might be dead, yeah. Or I might be writing another book. I don't know what that book is. I'm going to leave it open. If I planned everything about my life, if I tried to make everything certain, I, I wouldn't be able to live. I wouldn't enjoy myself. So some degree of uncertainty, some degree of open-endedness about the future is good. But too much open-endedness, too much uncertainty is crippling, right? So you have to do, be able to have a little bit of a dance in this world. You can't do one or the other. It's not like you, can, you, you have to be so certain or drown in uncertainty. You can have a mix of the two where you have a, a sense of where you're going in life. You have a sense of your own future, what you want to accomplish, where you want to be. But you don't sit there and plan everything out. You don't take a job and say, I'm going to be here in 10 years because I need financial security. You need to have some adventure in your life. You need to have some open-endedness. But you also have to have a sense of direction. That might seem complicated to you, and if it does, I, I point you towards mastery, the first section, particularly chapter one, and I point you towards law number 13 in the laws of human nature about discovering, having a sense of purpose. And I give you ideas about how you can create a little bit of that dance and know this is where I want to head in life, but I'm open to change. I'm open to things happening. And in my work, feeling a little bit uncertain about what I'm going to write tomorrow is good. But having no idea what I'm going to write about is bad. So I, every day, have to create that kind of mix. I hope this helps you in some way.